Go. Hi, it's Michelle again back here at San Antonio at this breast cancer symposium. There was a lot of excitement this morning and more people than I have ever seen around a poster that were here for several hours. Um, so we are now here with Dr. Sylvia Adams of New York, who is going to tell us about her exciting research and why there were so many people st still standing around your poster today. Thank you, thank you. So um, I wanted to um, show you the data that we presented today that uh, show an extremely uh, exciting and high response rate of a combination of immunotherapy and chemotherapy. And uh, this um, study utilized the uh, uh, immunotherapy with anti pdl one which is uh, the uh, name is Petizo, and uh, the combination partner was Abraxane uh, for women who have metastatic triple negative breast cancer. And the really uh, exciting uh, data are that the response rates were very high. They were uh, seen across uh, the patient population, regardless of even pdl one expression. And another uh, important point is that uh, women who were, a lot of them were very young, uh, so I've treated 35-year-old uh, patients, 40-year-old patients, uh, who are the predominant population with uh, triple negative breast cancer, um, had durable responses. So I can show you your data that um, patients who were treated uh, at the time of becoming metastatic um, had uh, significant re reductions in tumor burden, as shown here. And um, this was uh, an unprecedented uh, response rate for women with triple negative disease. Either one of the single agents, um, the anti pdl one compound had a, um, about 19% response rate in pdl one positive tumors um, in later lines, and uh, the Abraxane approximately has 27-35% um, to 35 response rate. So this is a really um, exciting number if I um, draw your attention to the um, to the response table here, all patients, the response was 71% uh, with majority being confirmed. So the confirmed response rate is 42%. Uh, and of note, the first line uh, patients did uh, extremely well with um, most of them having either stable disease or response. And um, this is uh, highlighted in this graph. These were the patients in second and third line. And uh, the um, uh, other important um, result from the study is that the toxicity was uh, very was very toler tolerated in this regimen and there was no additive toxicity to what we see beyond each one of the agents alone. So importantly this is very exciting but it's an early study and we will need to uh, prove this in a larger randomized trial so I would encourage all women um, to participate in this ongoing uh, phase 3 study and uh, this study is uh, listed here, it's called the Impassion 130, and it is um, open uh, globally at multiple sites, and it randomizes patients in the frontline metastatic setting to the Abraxane chemotherapy backbone, plus minus the um, uh, anti pd one compound. So that will bring us the definitive data, um, and hopefully this uh, will be leading to approval of immunotherapies and breast cancer, which is extremely exciting because the durability of response is really what, uh, what makes a difference compared to chemotherapy alone. So I can tell you, for instance, um, some of the patients here, as you can see, have been on study uh, now for, for one year without necessarily evidence of any disease, and uh, the uh, uh, a good subgroup of them also was able to discontinue the chemotherapy and only continue on the uh, monotherapy immune drug for now. So very exciting day. Thank you so much.